In the name of the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. My dear friends, Jesus affirms that only by being compassionate, forgiving, and loving can Christians break the sh shackles of violence and revenge that imprison the soul. His challenge may seem to be beyond our human capacity, but he reminds us that our model and strength is a Heavenly Father who is compassionate not only to the just but to sinners as well. May the spirit of mercy and compassion help us to live as sons and daughters of the Most High by following the teachings of our Lord Jesus. And as we begin our celebration this morning, we call to mind the many times that we have failed to be compassionate, that we have failed to be forgiving, that we have failed to ask for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contract of heart, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Although King Saul wants to kill him, David shows nobility of character by sparing the king's life when he had the chance to take it. David's gesture prepares us for the teaching of Christ in the Gospel. A reading from the first book of Samuel. In those days, Saul went down to the desert of Zip with 3,000 picked men of Israel to search for David in the desert of Zip. So David and Abishai went among Saul's soldiers by night and found Saul lying asleep within the barricade with his spear thrust into the ground at his head and Abner and his men sleeping around him. Abishai whispered to David, God has delivered your enemy into your grasp this day. Let me nail him to the ground with one thrust of the spear. I will not need a second thrust. But David said to Abishai, Do not harm him, for who can lay hands on the Lord's anointed and remain unpunished? So David took the spear and the water jug from their place at Saul's head and they got away without anyone's seeing or knowing or awakening. All remained asleep because the Lord had put them into a deep slumber. Going across to an opposite slope, David stood on a remote hilltop at a great distance from Abner, son of Ner, and the troops. Let an attendant come over to get it. The Lord will reward each man for his justice and faithfulness. Today, though the Lord delivered you into my grasp, I would not harm the Lord's anointed. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Merciful. 
Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. He pardons all your iniquities, heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction, crowns you with kindness and compassion. The Lord is kind and merciful. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does He deal with us, nor does He requite us according to our crimes. The Lord is kind and merciful. As far as the East is from the West, so far has He put our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear Him. The Lord is kind and Because of the sin of the first Adam, humanity once was estranged from God and became subject to corruption. But through obedience, Jesus, the new Adam, became the source of spiritual life for all. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, it is written, The first man, Adam, became a living being. The last, Adam, a life-giving spirit. But the spiritual was not first, rather the natural, and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, earthly. The second man, from heaven. As was the earthly one, so also are the earthly. And as is the heavenly one, so also are the heavenly. Just as we have been born the image of the earthly one, we shall also bear the image of the Heavenly One. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. I give you a new commandment, says the Lord. Love one another as I have loved you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, To you here I say, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. To the person who strikes you on one cheek, offer the other one as well. And from the person who takes your cloak, do not withhold even your tunic. Give to everyone who asks of you, and from the one who takes what is yours, do, do not demand it back. Do to others as you would have them do to you. For if you love, those who love you, what credit is that to you? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? 
even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect repayment, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners and get back the same amount. But rather, love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. Then your reward will be great and you will be children of the Most High. For he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Give and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Ang nang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Ang ganda ng Ibanghelyo, ano? Sarap basahin pa ulit-ulit. Mahirap kasing sundan, eh. Um, magkano ba ang minimum wage ngayon? Sa mga nagtatrabaho. Magkano ba? Magkaiba yung minimum wage sa Manila, no? Tsaka dito, no? Sa, sa probinsya, no? At laging merong debate kapag uh, pinag-uusapan yung minimum wage. Bakit nga daw kasi minimum wage lang? Kasi pagkat yung minimum wage daw hindi makakabuhay ng pamilya. Sabi naman nung nasa kabila, eh talaga naman kapag kaanim, pito, walo ang anak mo, hindi talaga makakabuhay ng pamilya. No? Kaya nga daw, hindi dapat minimum wage. Dapat daw living wage. Makakabuhay. So patuloy yung debate na yan. No? Laging eh, pinag-uusapan yan kung magkano dapat yung minimum wage at yung minimum wage ay dapat living wage. Mapunta tayo sa isa pang minimum. Ano ba yung grade ng studyante na pumapasa? Di ba 75? Pero yung mga magulang dito, matutuwa ba kayo kapag ka nagtatakbo pa palapit sa inyo isang hapon ang inyong anak? Nanay, ito po yung grade ko, 75. Pasado naman, di ba? No? Pasang awa nga lang. Iguro sasabihin ng magulang anak naman, no? baka naman pwedeng sobra-sobra mo ng kaunti. Kasi kung makahingi ka ng baon, wagas. Eh, baka naman eh, tawag nito eh, pupwede mo namang badagdagan niya ng mga ilang puntos. Minimum kasi. Ay, mga minsan-minsan, ganun yung mentality. Kahit na sa pananampalataya natin eh, madalas naririnig namin eh, Sumusunod naman po ako sa minimum requirement, Sunday obligation. <laughs> Alinggo. No? All the re- other uh, days of the week, I will be on my own. Pag Sunday, tapat ako. Minimum. Bakit kaya ganun? Ano? Lagi na lang sa minimum nakatapat. Bakit ko po yung naisip yung mga minimum na yon, Minimum wage, minimum grade, minimum requirement ng ating pananampalataya at marami pang iba na mga minimum requirement lang sa relationship. Anong minimum requirement sa mag-asawa? Minimum requirement ng trabaho nyo? Minimum requirement ng ganito? Minimum requirement bilang isang citizen ng bayan? Minimum requirement para sa pagtutupad ng batas? Wala naman akong ginagawang masama. Hindi ka naman gumagawa ng mabuti. Oh, diba? Nakatuon lang doon sa minimum. No? Yung ibanghel yung binasa natin, Reminded that us, rather, that we are not meant simply for the minimum. The gospel reminds us not to be contented with minimum requirements, not to be contented with the typical, with the normal, to be children of God, to be members of His kingdom, hindi po pang minimum lang yun. Sapagat alam ng Panginoon kung ano yung kaya nating maibigay. 
kung kaya, anong kaya nating maproduce. Sabi nga doon sa Ebanghelyo, If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? Because even sinners do the same. And normally, mga kapatid, we do good to those who are good to us. Diba? No? It stands to reason. Logical yun. Bakit naman, bakit naman ako magiging mabuti sa kanya? Napakasama niya sa akin. No? Buti pa dito. No? Ito ay eh, kapag may pangangailangan ako, natatakbuhan ko. Kapag kailangan ko ng oras para makinig sa akin, napupuntahan ko, napagsasabihan ko. It's easy to be kinder to those who are also kind to us. But the gospel, parang dugtong ito nung uh, nakaraang linggo, yung Beatitudes, na uh, mahirap ring matanto at mahirap ring masunod sa challenge, ito ay kas- kakambal, ay kasunod noong pagtuturo ng ating Panginoon. I'm not asking only for the minimum from you, but something more. Because I know that you can give more. I know that you have what it takes to be more. Kaya nga po, sa ating mga Pilipino, di ba, no? Even yung sense ng utang na loob, hindi natin binabayaran, ano? Anong ginagawa natin sa utang na loob? Di ba, hindi binabayaran? Sa kulturang Pilipino, tinatanaw. Hmm? Tinatanaw. Kaya nga kapag kahit na ang tagal-tagal nang ginawa sa iyo yung kabutihan na yun, I remember no, uh, our elders in the family, our lolos and our titas would always remind us, huwag makakalimot magpasalamat dyan sapagat nung panahon na nangangailangan tayo, sila yung tumulong. Sila yung tumulong. It's kinder. It's easier to be kind. It's easier to do good to those who have been good to us. But the gospel requires us to be more, to do good even who, to those who are not good to us, to be kinder to those who are not even kind to us. Hirap, no? Ano ba naman, Lord? Ito hinihingi mo saan? Yung logic ng mundo ay medyo kakaiba doon sa hinihingi mo sa aming ibanghelyo ngayon. But the thing is that we are being reminded that we are not simply children of this world. We are children of the kingdom of heaven. And if we are citizens of the kingdom, that's how it should be. That we help even those who do not help us. Be kind to those who are even not kind to us. Be forgiving even to those who have forgotten to forgive us. Sa binasa nating ibanghelyo, yung forgiveness is... Be, is uh, sa binasa nating sa unang pagbasa, yung forgiveness is really highlighted in the story of Saul and David. David and Saul ay sanggang dikit. No? David was even considered by Saul to be his son. Anak na yung turing ni Saul kay David. But Saul became jealous because sa mga campaigns nila, sa mga wars nila, pag bumabalik, And then the people were singing praises more on David rather than on Saul. Saul killed his hundreds, but David killed his thousands. Eh, naging jealous. Jealous. And yung jealousy na yun grew and grew and became murderous. Kaya nga, inanapan na ng pagkakataon ni Saul to kill David, to murder him. But that escape soul, that opportunity was not presented to soul. On the other hand, the opportunity to do vengeance was given to David. Kapag kuna, pakinggan niyo yung unang pagbasa, and one, one evening, Saul joined the party, uh, David rather joined the party of, uh, of Saul, And he was not recognized. And Saul was sleeping helplessly. At ang sabi ni David, I can kill him with a single thrust of this spear. Because of what you did to me and what you keep on doing to me, I can kill you with one thrust of my spear because the Lord has delivered you to me. But vengeance is not mine. It is the Lord. Kaya, my dear friends, if there are some of us here 
who felt that justice in the world, in this world, seems to be unfair. Hindi nyo nakakamtan ng ustisya dito sa mundo. Huwag kayong magalala. Sabi lagi, pinapaalala sa akin lagi, ng aking, ng aking kaibigang Ilonggo, ay may Diyos mangin. You might not be able to obtain justice in this world, but be sure of this, may justisya sa dulo. There is a time for reckoning. For us to be freed from that shackles of vengeance and unforgiveness, we have to learn how to be a David sa buhay natin. When our enemies are delivered into our hands, remind yourself of this. Vengeance is the Lord and not mine. Balik tayo sa Ibanghelyo. The Gospel again reminds us to look things not only with our human eyes, not only with our human reason. Oh, tapatan tayo. Magpapautang ba kayo doon sa tao na alam mo na susubain ka lang? Alam mo na hindi magbabayad sa'yo. <laughs> Arang, Lord naman. <laughs> Pinagirapan ko po itong papautang ko tapos papautang ko lang dito na alam ko na hindi makakabayad. Arang, hirap ano? But that's the content of the gospel. Because the Lord is telling us that if we're only, only going to help those who can help us back, then ang iksi ng kapangyarihan ng tulong na yon. Alam niyo po, kayo rin ang nagbibigay sa amin ng pagkakataong tumulong dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. And as an educator, it is always our task and our desire to help people not in a dole-out way, but to help them to be able to stand on their own two feet at ma uh, umayos man lang ng kaunti yung buhay nila on their own na hindi umaasa. Kaya po kapag mayroong mga nagbibigay, and we're very grateful na kapag ka nagsasabi, ito po ay para sa scholarship na, na tawag nito, na ministry po ninyo, marami pong natutulungan yun. In fact, tuwang tuwa nga po ako, just two to three weeks ago, we meron po kaming partnership with Dual Tech, Technical and Vocational, sapagat marami po ang mga hindi na tumutuloy sa kolehiyo. But we are encouraging them to continue with their schooling, technical and vocational. And with Dual Tech, pagkatapos po nun, ay meron na silang trabaho. Nakakatuwa po, kasi two to three weeks ago, after six months of training, nag-OJT na sila. And they are very grateful sapagkat yung OJT na yon ay kumikita na sila ng 75% to 80% ng, ng minimum wage. <laughs> minimum wage nga lang. Pero at least meron ng kita. Meron ng kinikita. And it's helping them to stand on their own two feet. My dear friends, I know, we know very much, we don't have much, but if we combine all those small things that we have, and we strategize our help, then it will go a long, long way. The Gospel reminded us that even if we are blessed, we can be more. The Gospel reminded us that this is the standard of the world, but this is the standard of God. And if we are to be children of the Kingdom, we cannot simply stay on the standard of the world. Minimum wage, Minimum requirement, minimum tulong, but that is not the way of Jesus. Kindly all stand. I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made for us men for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and, and rose again, again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father that we may truly become His sons and daughters who are called to mirror His mercy and compassion to everyone. With confidence we pray, Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May Pope Francis, bishops, priests, deacons, and all church leaders mirror the unconditional love of Jesus who seeks out the lost the weak, and the stray among God's flock, we pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May our political and civil leaders work to fight against the culture of death and become instruments of healing and justice, we pray. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May the sick, the handicapped, the depressed, the elderly, and those who are in great pain find healing and support through their families and leaders of their communities we pray lord of mercy hear our prayer may we receive the sacrament of reconciliation often and believe in the power of forgiveness so that we in turn may become more compassionate and forgiving we pray Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. May our beloved dead experience God's loving forgiveness and so attain eternal life in heaven, we pray. Lord of mercy, we also pray in a very special way for all the devotees of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for their well-being, for their health, and for their safety, we pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for our frontliners, our medical workers, for the enlightenment of our leaders, both in the church and in the government. We pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, hear our prayer. Now we pause for a while in silence. You may now offer your personal intentions. Listen to the prayers of your children, Lord. Grant us the capacity to forgive from our hearts so that we may be one with you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. 
As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to the honor of your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in this obedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. We call it therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order of Preachers, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs of eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer to one another the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you.
please me. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, behold our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Now blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And blood of Christ bring me to everlasting life. Please kneel. Kindly all kneel for our prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, that genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord, let us pray. Shepherd of souls and savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we may experience the effects of the salvation which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Before I give the final blessing, maraming salamat po sa pagdalaw ninyo sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at lalong higit sa pakikiisa po ninyo sa banal na misa. Makakaasa po kayo ng patuloy na pagdarasal magmula namin, magmula dito sa Minor Basilica para sa inyo, sa lahat ng deboto ng Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Kami rin po ay humihiling ng inyong mga pagdarasal para may pagpatuloy ang mga gawaing tinadana ng ating Panginoon. And more importantly, we continue to pray for each other. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May Almighty God always keep every adversity far from you. And in His kindness, pour out upon you the gifts of blessing. Amen. May God keep your hearts attentive to His words, that they may be filled with everlasting gladness. Amen. Amen. And so, may you always understand what is good and right, and be found ever hastening along the path of God's commands, and made co-heirs with the citizens of heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, come Amen. down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass ascended, go in peace to love and serve the Lord through one another. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. We shall now say the prayer for the blessing po ng mga may sakit. May sakit dito, may sakit sa bahay. We include them in our prayers. And to be followed by the prayer for the blessing po ng inyong religious articles. After the blessing, we will go around uh, to bless with holy water yung inyong religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. For your religious articles, we bless them. In memory of the miseries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May your religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.